Drug Seekers. Today we're coming to you from North Carolina. When I think of North Carolina, I think of NC Barbecue. Absolutely. That vinegar based barbecue that yes. North Carolina is famous for. We had a subscriber request us to come to Wilbur's Barbecue in Goldsboro, North Carolina. So that's where today's adventure brought us to. We here at Wilbur's Barbecue and we're going to give this barbecue a try. So y'all come along and join us and we'll let you know what we think. This is what Wilbur's Barbecue looks like. You can see a few cars in line at the queue through, which is a drive up service. As you walk into the restaurant, this is what it looks like. You got a counter with bar stools. There's a dining area to your right. And if you pan around here to the left side, there's another area right over here with another room off to the left of that. And here's one of the dining room areas. This is where we're sitting at. And right in here is another dining room area. This restaurant has lots of areas for you to come in and sit at. Voted the best barbecue in North Carolina. Our waitress, Michelle, she brought us out a basket of hush puppies and some chicken gravy that goes with them to dip in. And also, she was nice enough, since it's our first time coming to Wilbur's Barbecue, she brought us out a sample of the barbecue for us to try. Have you tried it yet, Cindy? Oh, I have. What it, do you think of it? Oh, already, I'm a fan of it, I can tell you. I just took a little piece of it and tried it. I didn't put any sauce on it. It's got a little bit of on it. But she just the meat. She, right. And she said you can put some more on it, you know, to your taste. Right. But it's always good to just taste to see what the meat itself tastes like. It is really good. Um, it de you can definitely tell it's North Carolina style. I love it. Carly, she's going to try one of the hush puppies out, see how she likes them. Did you put any gravy on it or just eating it strict, strictly a hush puppy? Toy, a hush puppy, and it? it tastes good. You like them? You gonna try a little gravy on it or not? No. Well, I can't wait to try one because you all know how I love hush puppies. I know how you love gravy too, and I've never heard of gravy on a hush puppy, so this is new for us. Send to see how you like those hush puppies. All right. Mm-mm-mm. Now, did you try any gravy or just strictly a hush puppy? Just strictly the hush puppy. Now I'm gonna try some gravy. These are a sweet hush puppy. Very good. Let me try some gravy. Again, this is new, so we'll see. Hmm. A very unique taste. It tastes like it's got a little kick to it. Yeah. yeah I'm double dipping, but you know, it's okay, we're family. It's all good. It's all good, I'm try it again. Well, I'm gonna try some of the barbecue meat and see how I like it. It's got a good smell. Oh, it smells delicious. That is good. The meat's just as tender. Oh, I can't wait for you to try these hush puppies with this gravy to see what you think. The barbecue is real good. It, I mean, it is. It's really good barbecue. All right, let's try the hush puppy. Got me one? First, I'm gonna try it without gravy. They have some good hush puppies too. Mm -hmm. And David is definitely known to sop up the gravy. You know what I love? Bit of it. So I love gravy. Probably likes on the hush puppies. It's it such good. a unique taste. It is. I'm gonna do like you, double dip. Double dip, going in for again. There you go. So far, everything we've tried has been excellent. And we haven't even got our meals yet. Here is the menu for Wilbur's Barbecue. Whole hog and hand chopped since 1962. The hours of operation are Wednesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The ordering options, you can dine in, 
drive through or call ahead. And here are the meals they are available. They include a choice of two sides and hush puppets. You can get a barbecue plate, a quarter of a chicken plate, half a chicken, a combo plate, hand breaded chick chicken tender plate, or hand breaded chicken tender sandwich. Pig picking items, barbecue sandwich, barbecue sandwich with a side and a drink, the barbecue tray, spare ribs when available, skins, bones and pulled pork when available. The sides are right here, green beans, potato salad, coleslaw, french fries, fried okra, hush puppies, barbecue potatoes, Brunswick stew, chicken salad when available. They do have daily features. On Wednesdays, turkey breast barbecue, Thursdays, barbecue beef, Friday, fried flounder and pork chops, Saturday, baby back ribs, Sunday, chicken pastry. Wilbur Shop, you can get you a t-shirt, hats, you can buy some of the barbecue sauce to take home. Here are the drinks and desserts, tea, classic bottle coke, fountain drinks, they have beer, banana pudding, Wilbur's cookie, coconut cake, carrot cake, pecan pie, or buttermilk pie. And you can keep up with Wilbur's Barbecue on Facebook. There's the website address, telephone number, and here is the address of the restaurant. Here is the kids menu for Wilbur's Barbecue. You can get a grilled cheese, corn dog nuggets, chicken nuggets, or pork barbecue bowl. And meals come with one side and a drink. This is for ages 12 and younger. Our food just came to the table. Carly, she ordered the corn dog nuggets with a side of green beans. I know you're hungry, Carly, so go ahead and dig in and try them and see what you think. I see you starting with the green beans first. You like them? Mm -hmm. All right, Carly, what do you think of your corn dog nuggets? And you can tell that these are made in house. This is not something that is frozen and deep fried. This is something they make here. It's big. It reminded me of a hush puppy when it first came out. Okay, Cindy, tell us what you ordered. All right, I got the combination plate, which has the barbecue. And then I got chicken with it. And this is the white chicken. So it's a breast and a wing. Fried over, which they do fresh in house. It's not frozen. And then the barbecue potatoes, which I find very interesting. I didn't know what they were gonna look like when they came out. I almost thought they would look like chips, so I can't wait to try these. I see you went straight to the potato first. I did because it's something that's unique that I've never had before. At least I don't think I have. Once I taste it, I'll see if I have. Okay. They're, they're good. They're good? They just, they really remind me of kind of like a boiled potato. That's what it does look like to me, a, a boiled potato. And then, I don't know if this is their barbecue sauce like that they have here in that bottle or what, but it's, it's really good. It's kind of tangy, but a little spicy. And it's definitely a different flavor. And I'm glad I got this to try something I've never had before. What I ordered, I got the barbecue sandwich and one side, which I got the Brunswick stew, and I got coleslaw on the side to try. And also got a rack of ribs, a small rack, just to try them. Everything looks good. Can't wait to try them out. Oh, Dave, you just asked me what I want you to try first. Uh-huh. I want you to try that Brunswick stew. Brun the stew first, all right. Since you are a stew master, I want you to try it and see. This definitely looks different than what we fix. You know, at home, we do not put any green beans in ours, but I like green beans, so I'm willing to try it, see how, they, how it is. And she said it was pork and chicken. She said it had pork and chicken. So what do you think? It's definitely different than what I'm used to, but it's not bad. I enjoy it. It's good. I would definitely try it again. Well, you know, it, it's hard once you've had your world-famous stew. Oops, I'm trying to get the spoon in there. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm going to try out the slaw to see how I like this. If I like it, I'll put it on the sandwich. Hmm. That's a good coleslaw. So, what do you think? 
So they've got a sandwich. It's gonna go then. Now see this this coleslaw with they got it chopped up very finely. I like that. It's got I, a good taste. I noticed that when it came out. It was and, chopped um, up fine. Coleslaw is delicious. All right, you see I got slaw on my barbecue sandwich. I put a little bit of the Wilbur's barbecue sauce on, so let's try it out. That's a good barbecue sandwich. All right, I just cut off a piece of the rib, and Cindy's gonna give that a try. You can see the meat on it. Turn it around a little bit, and you can see where it's been on the grill, and it's been smoking, and it just, I tasted it off my fingers. It's got a delicious taste. Go ahead, Cindy, and see what you think of them. It is really good. I love that taste, the smoke in it. That, that smoke flavor in mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's just delicious. It's really good. And you know, I don't normally eat red, but this is really delicious. What do you think, Dave? That's some good meat right there. They're delicious. I'm glad I decided to try them. Yeah, I know the main reason you got it was just so you could say you tried it so right. you let the viewers know how it was. And plus, this was a Saturday special with rib, so mm -hmm. I decided I would give it a try and like you said, let people know how they are, and I'm glad I did. They, I mean, they're delicious. I just watched another channel this morning, matter of fact, NC Memory Makers, and he was talking about getting the steak with the bone, and he was talking about gnawing that bone, getting all the meat off of it. Well, Derek, I know what you're talking about because I'm doing the same with these ribs. When I get finished with this, the dog wouldn't get anything off of it. Ain't that true? All right, Cindy, what did you get for dessert? This is called a Wilbur's cookie, and our waitress was telling us about it. And I know she said it had pecans, raisins, I think she said Rice Krispies, all kind of good stuff in it. And so I've never had one, and so I figured, why not try one? Yeah, this is kind of, you can see, it's chewy. Uh-huh. Right. So mm. what do you think of the cookie? Oh, it's delicious. Our waitress just brought us a ticket to the table. And Cindy got the combo plate. I got the barbecue sandwich with the side and a drink. Carly, she got the corn dog nuggets, and we added the uh, a fourth of a rack of barbecue ribs, and we got one Wilbur's cookie. The total for everything came to forty-three twenty-five, and the prices here are very reasonable, I think, for the amount of food. The quality was del everything was delicious. Right here, we're looking at the original smokehouse. And they outgrew this, and there he's gonna take us and show us what the one looks like today. Yeah, so we call this the heart and soul of the operation. So this has been here about 62 years. So these are all the original pits right here. Uh, original bars, we added, added this screen right here just so stuff wouldn't fall through. Yes, sir. We cook 150 pound pigs. We cut them in half and take the heads off. Right. And so we can fit approximately 60 pigs in here if need be. Wow. Um, as you notice, the openings underneath, that's where we take the shovel and take the coals. Yes, sir. And that's how we cook them the old fashioned way. Um, it's the most labor intensive, expensive way to cook it, but uh, we, uh, it uh, works out the best way for the product. Got some skin cooking off right there. We'll try to uh, crisp that up and serve that up to the guest. And then we just come right out here and we're gonna try to train a load of wood about a, uh, every three or four weeks. Now, what kind of wood do y'all use um, for smoking? It, it's mainly oak wood, but Mostly there is oak. some cherry and pecan in there, but okay. it's hard wood. And so uh, this is the man that makes it happen. This is Jackie right here. How you doing? How you doing? All right, how you today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Happy New Year. Well, same to you, sir. Look like you hard at work. 
<laughs> so he'll stack this up like a puzzle right there and light it with a piece of cardboard. Uh huh. And then those coals will get ready, much like over here. And uh, he'll take those one shovel full at a time, go back into the pit, and put them in those openings right there. Okay. Little lid at the time. Little lid at the time. Low and slow. Low and slow. Low and slow. <laughs> low and slow. I like that. Low and slow. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of the operation. It's very basic. I uh, couldn't do it without my man here. And but, Michelle, our waitress, she, she did a fantastic oh, job. She was awesome. Yay. And uh, she was telling us that y'all usually do this at night time. Is that correct? Well, he'll start yeah. laying the fire at whatever time it is. Let's say it's 4 o'clock. And probably around 7, 7. o'clock, the cool, coals will be right. Okay. And then uh, Jackie will be here till 6, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Mm. And that's yeah, what we'll we start. through the night for the next day. I got you. Right. So this is for tomorrow's pork. Okay. Try to keep it fresh. <laughs> I'm to tell you, everything we had was delicious. Oh, well, I tell you, good. the ribs were just outstanding. Oh, yeah, that's, that's I'll tell you, they good. Oh, wow. Well, thank oh, you very much. Okay. Well, we heard about coming. it from one of our subscribers. Okay. And we thought we would try it out. We heard about it last year and said today was a good day to drive down and just really enjoyed it. Well, thank you I'm glad much. we did, too. Yeah. And I can see why after seeing your setup. Well, it's a labor of love, and uh, you know, Absolutely. can't say enough about Jackie and the whole team because uh -huh. can't do it without them. That's today, yeah. I'm sure. And today, this is the current smokehouse for Wilbur's Barbecue. Well, Dave, quite the drive to get here. What'd you think about? Well, I love it. I tell you what, from the time we walked in the door, our wages we got, her name was Michelle. I mean, just awesome job. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Michelle bought us out a sample of the barbecue to try it first. This was our first time coming. We hadn't tried it. So she was nice enough to bring us out a sample. And those hush and puppies. And the hush puppies. I never had hush puppies before with gravy, but I tell you what, it's just like eating anything that's addictive. That's what they were. Because <laughs> you eat one, but it's like eating lace potato chips. You just can't stop with one. You no, kept yeah, on buddy. eating and kept on eating them. And as far as my food, everything I got was delicious. I got the ribs as a add-on, along with my barbecue sandwich. The barbecue was excellent, but I tell you what, those ribs, they were outstanding. I'm not a real big rib person, but I tried them because I wanted to experience them since we're coming to Wilbur's Barbecue, and that was one of the daily specials with the ribs. I'm so glad I did try them, because I tell you, they were just awesome, you know, very good taste, and Mr. Underwood, one of the owners, he was nice enough to take us out back, show us the smokehouses. And I tell you what, seeing that firsthand, that was just a treat. You know, there's a lot of process goes through to get barbecue fixed that people don't know about. And when he showed us around in the smokehouse, you know, I was just amazed. There's a lot of work that goes into preparing barbecue. They cook this over oak wood mostly. They prepare the fire that evening, start getting the coals. They put the meat on it around seven o'clock in the evening and the meat cooks all night long, slow and low. You know, I was expecting to see some of those barbecue grills, you know, they kind of look like a barrel when you pick it up. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they had the actual smokehouse, you take the coals, you put them under it, you cook it, and the smell of that, oh, it was amazing. And also we got to talk to the pit master who's outside that's in charge of getting the meat fixed up. Everybody here just super friendly, just a wonderful experience. I highly recommend coming to Wilbur's Barbecue. The food was delicious, the staff was just as friendly as they could be. They made you feel at home when you walk in the door. And that's what you want when you go to a restaurant. You want people to be nice and friendly. And that is what we experienced here. So nothing but good things to say about Wilbur's Barbecue. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Carly, what did you think of your food? My green beans were delicious. She didn't eat one, not two, but three orders of those green beans. You said they were what, Carly? Delicious. If I'm not mistaken, can you tell me they were the best, the best she's ever eaten? That's what you did say to take. They were pretty good. <laughs> now, send it for your food. How did you enjoy your food? Everything was great. I had no complaints at all. Um, the hush puppies and the gravy, though, or I think that was my favorite thing that I had. The chicken was good. I actually dipped in some of the sauce from the ribs. That was it. That comes with that gravy on top of. You can get the chicken barbecue. It's a type of gravy on it. Um, the waitress Michelle also 
uh, gave me um, a suggestion. I put a little bit of that gravy on the potato, those barbecue potatoes. Got I did that. That was good advice. It was really good. Uh, everything was great here. I mean, definitely a nice place to come to. I thought the prices were very reasonable. So if you're in the area, or if you're not in the area like us, and you want to have a little road trip, this is a good place to come and get a good meal. And oh, one other thing, you ordered the okra, and you ordered that for me. I did. For the side, and I love okra. I tell you, the okra here was delicious. They take it, they bring it to sell, mm -hmm. fry it up, some good okra. And also, me and Carla got sweet tea, which we normally do. Sweet tea was really good. And um, I was just very impressed with everything I got. Definitely recommend this place. Anything else y'all want to say? No, everything was great. Well, go ahead, Carla, and close us out from Wilbur's Barbecue here, please. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss all the latest and greatest videos. See you next time. Thank you for watching. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right here tells the history of Wilbur's Barbecue. In 1962, Wilbur Shirley and Carl Lowry purchased Hill's Barbecue from Mr. Fred Hill. Renamed to Highway 70 Barbecue, it opened on July the 24th. Within a year, Mr. Lowry sold his share of the establishment to Wilbur, and at that time, the name was changed to Wilbur's Barbecue, and the tradition began. Upon opening, the restaurant employed only 11 people. Currently employs nearly 100 plus. As the business grew, so did the number and notability of its patrons. The business not only has the opportunity to serve the community through the years, but some of the famous names as well. Some celebrities that have indulged in this barbecue phenomenon are President George W. Bush Sr., President Bill Clinton, Governor Jim Hunt, Governor Terry Sanford, and Senator Jesse Helms, to name just a few. We invite you to join us and become part of our expanding family. Thank you.